Hey guys, this is the Split Rock Loop Trail. It's about two miles. It's right here in Joshua Tree National Park. It's a, it's a pretty easy hike. I mean, it's up and down. It's not flat, but it's uh, a good one if you're a beginner hiker and you just want to get out away from the crowds at the roadside um, attractions. And uh, yeah, you're going to go through all of these beautiful boulder fields here. and uh, get a chance to see it without all the crowds. So if you want to do it, just go to hikingguy.com where I have all the information on parking, maps, all that fun stuff. But otherwise, here are the turn-by-turn -turn directions. So the parking lot here is a medium one. There's a primitive toilet, and it's close to Park Boulevard. And the trailhead is here at the end, right by Split Rock, which is right in front of you. Now, you can't see it from here, but when we go around to the back, you will see that it is indeed a Split Rock. Um, big tank, white tank granite that you find all over Joshua Tree. Now when you walk around the back, this is the cool part, there's a little um, native area here where they used to camp and prepare foods and you can still see the fire stains up on top. Unfortunately people have put graffiti on there and ruined it so um, some of it's cleaned up but obviously respect the area, stay in the trail. Now you're going to keep going here and the trail in the beginning is really easy to follow. I guess overall it's pretty easy to follow. You're going to go through these boulders. And if you look back around here, you're going to be able to see split rock there that it is actually split. It's not a trick. It's really split. And we're going to keep going forward here on the loop. Now kind of mile for mile, there's more boulders and granite here than you'd probably find in other hikes here in Joshua Tree. This part goes over the granite, and this is really the only part where there's no discernible trail where you go over the granite. But it's easy to follow. Once you get across, you'll see the trail again. And there are little signs like this to help you along the way in the tough parts. And then after that last granite part, the trail loops around. And that's a trail trail, and we're going to do a little bit of climbing. This is probably the only real climbing on the hike, and I hesitate to call it climbing. It's a little inclined. We're going to go up to the top of the ridge here, and we're going to be rewarded with even more boulders and, uh, and granite. First, we're going to go over this little wash and then up the stone staircase. The trail's in really good condition, and they actively maintain it, so it should be easy to follow. These are the boulders I was talking about. More faces. One of the rocks is a mummy face. Here you can see the rock has been worn through by thousands of years of erosion really really cool boulders here and again no crowds like the roadside ones like jumbo rock so i'm going to keep going forward here in this intersection we're going to actually leave the main loop trail and go to see face rock it's a short detour that's the loop that we're going to come back to but we're going to do this little 10 15 minute loop detour to face rock now this trail follows the wash down to face rock and uh, at some points like this, it's a little narrow, but overall very easy to follow. And we're going to just keep going down here through these rocks. And eventually the wash gets really wide, and you'll see this old watering tank here. There were a ton of mines here in the day. Some of them were documented, some of them were not. And uh, I think that is a not documented one, but you can still see the tank. And I'm actually going to come to Face Rock, which is right there. And there's a little interpretive sign. Really, really cool. When you're done here, you just turn around and go back to that last intersection. And when you get to the intersection, we're going to continue to the right back on the loop trail. At this point, you're almost done. Keep your eyes open on that big piece of granite in front of us there. A lot of people do rock climbing on there. So sometimes you can see some little ants crawling up there. You go through this neat little grove of trees. There's a pine tree here, too. Um, I think it's because it's perpetually in shade right here. And these trees get uh, moisture from the cracks in the rocks. So really cool. Get your shade if it's hot. That's the place to chill out. Then this last rock here, there's a lot of face rocks. There's this little sleeping turtle, little this big sleeping turtle face right here. And then you're going to continue... And right after this, you're going to come back to the side of the parking lot where you started. And then that's the loop. That's the whole loop hike. 
So that's the hike, Split Rock Loop. It's a fun one, it's beautiful, and uh, it's only two miles, so tough to beat. Now, if you found this video on YouTube, uh, make sure you go to the full article, and that's on Hiking Guy. You just click on the link right underneath the video, and that will bring you to the article that has the parking info, maps, and all that stuff that you need to do the hike safely. And if you are watching on YouTube, if you could click the little thumbs up button, that helps other people find the video and hopefully do the hike safely as well. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I will answer them. And uh, yeah, I have more hikes at Joshua Tree on the website, so check those out and get out on the trail. It's beautiful here. See ya.